I'm sitting right in front of our creamery here and I can see our cows uh, right from where I'm sitting. And we have a pipeline that runs underground in a concrete tunnel basically from our parlor that hauls the milk right over to our cheese plant straight from the cow. We made sure when we built our cheese company that we would be handling the milk in a respectful way, in a way that allows our end product to be extra special. So the farm that Redhead Creamery is located on, it's Jerry Lindy Farms. It was started by my parents, Jerry and Linda Jennison. They have been farming on this farm site since 1983, two years before I was born. And it's a privilege for me and my, my husband and my family to be able to be part of it with them now. Well, my parents have been involved in the registered Holstein business their entire lives. And my dad has utilized the genetics of our cows to produce a high milk component cow and knew someday we would be paid for our components in the milk. We now have cows that are producing uh, milk components that are similar to that of a Jersey cow. And we produce a lot more milk with our Holstein cows. And we say that in cheese making because that's extremely important to have uh, high milk components for yield. And so uh, being able to look back into the heritage of our, our cattle and, and having those records has been extremely beneficial to our dairy farm, which relates directly to our cheese company. I was a senior in high school when I went on the National 4-H dairy conference trip and we toured Crave Brothers Farmstead Cheese and that's when it was like my aha moment that I'm going to make cheese someday and I'm going to use our own milk right on our farm and we're going to make this happen. We were excited about that possibility to have a child come home and farm with you and, and uh, maybe have the chance to build upon the things that you've worked on your whole life is a dream. And so we encouraged her. We knew nothing about cheese making, so we told her that she needed to um, learn how to make cheese and then she needed to share that with us. And so she, she did. She went um, and studied at the University of Minnesota and learned all about marketing there because they told her that making cheese is gonna be a lot easier than selling it. And if you wanna keep making it, you need, to, you need to sell it. Lucas proposed to her in front of the beef barn on the St. Paul campus. And uh, when he uh, graduated, he had a job waiting for him at Holstein in Brattleboro, and uh, they got married on Saturday, left Monday morning for the trip to Brattleboro, Vermont. We spent a lot of our weekends going to the creameries and craft breweries, uh, talking to uh, dairy farmers from all around the state, asking how they got into the creamery business, and frankly, figuring out that we thought we could do this too. By the time we left Vermont a couple years later, we really had Redhead Creamery sketched out on a napkin exactly what it should look like. Uh, we knew we wanted a viewing area that people could see, uh, we knew how we wanted the design from all the other dairy producers who told us their best ideas and worst ideas along the way. And uh, we thought just maybe uh, we could do farm tours for people coming out to the farms. Sharing what we do in agriculture with the community and watching their excitement and their interest in learning more has been really rewarding for us as people in agriculture. When we do our farm tours and we talk about how every calf has its photo taken. It's attached to an application for registry, sent to the Holstein Association, recorded, and that we are able to trace their ancestry back, in most cases, to the late 1800s. And the look on their faces, the feeling of, are you kidding me? I had no idea. You can see the dairy right here and all the dairy cattle. And here you have the, the cheese, and a lot of the, uh, the cheese on this menu uh, comes right from these cows, and uh, that's what draws people from a long ways away. So we were very surprised at the distance people would travel to tour a dairy farm, at the questions they would have, and, and how 
passionately they feel about knowing where their, where their food comes from. We purchased some cheese at the farmer's market in New London about a week ago, and it was so good, we decided we're gonna drive back up and we're going home with lots of it. It's fabulous. I want to try to develop the farm to be sustainable long-term. It's socially acceptable, environmentally acceptable, and that is, that is profitable. I, I think that the cheese and the ag tourism aspect, along with a superior herd of cows, will carry us there. Five to ten years, I look at improving a quality of life and improving how much we're involved in the community and how we can develop ourselves every day. We always try to empower our employees to feel the passion that we have for what we're doing and hope that we continue to be known for someone who is transparent and producing a quality product and are down-to-earth people that you want to buy good cheese from.